David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Okay, what am I doing sipping Earl Grey tea out of this mug and wearing these glasses? Well, I'm channeling my inner cue. And for this vlog, you probably should as well, too. Now, look, you all know I'm a bit of a storyteller. You know, every good story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. This is the end to the whole story of our relationship with Billy Reed. Not the end of the relationship, but the end of the story of how we were instrumental in getting a particular coat from Billy Reed used in the movie Spectre. And we talked about it earlier. We had the marketing people and myself draft up a letter. We sent it to Janny, the costume designer. They found a lot of different pieces that they liked, but they wound up not using them for Bond, but using a particular Billy Reed coat for Q. And you saw those pictures at the beginning of this vlog. Well, here it is, folks. This is it. It has arrived. This is Q's coat from Spectre. And what's great is this is the Aster coat. It's called Aster because, well, Aster is a area of New York. I'm sure that had something to do with it. What's great about this is, as you can see, it's a single-breasted coat. It's got the amazing notch collar. We'll go over some of these details. The buttons, as I take you through this, are horn buttons because Billy Reed doesn't skimp on anything, which is probably what Janney liked about it. This is a very beautiful, beautiful coat, even though, let's face it, Q is not known for his style. It's usually pretty eclectic, but this happens to be an amazing coat. It's got a triple stitch detail, a three hidden button flap pockets. So you can see here, it's got the ticket pocket. Um, it's got a little hidden area in here if you want to come up close. I know it's sometimes hard to get, but if I open this up, you can see that it actually has leather detail underneath here. Unbelievable, amazing leather detail, beautiful blue interior pockets. And again, those horn buttons that we talked about. It's a single back vent, which I'll show you in a second, fully lined. What's really nice is this is, I gotta show you the lining in here. It's called a broken fence jacquard. So you can see this broken fence type of lining, which is absolutely beautiful. And even the interior pockets are lined in leather. Unbelievable detail, by the way, made in Italy. So no, nothing shabby there. 50% wool, 45% acrylic, 5% polyester, Obviously dry clean only, but what's nice about this is, if you take a look at the back here, this is becoming a brand staple of Billy Reed. You can see this leather that goes through the back, very similar to, obviously, the pea coat that we've seen in Skyfall, brought back for Spectre with Q's coat. What I loved about this is that same type of styling that comes to a pinpoint here. Beautiful brown leather. It is incredibly soft, but as always... We have to show you the interior and then try it on. Now, what's very interesting here is if you look at this, you can see the typical Billy Reed label, made in Italy, with the little collar loop here to hang it up. Though I wouldn't hang it up on there, but it's, again, made of that same beautiful brown leather. Size medium. Now, I will tell you, I've been going a little bit smaller in Billy Reed for their jackets and their coats, mainly because I'm finding them to be a little less tailored for me, so I typically go for a small, like I did in those cashmere pea coats. But let's take a look at this. So I'll try it on. Again, this is the medium, and you can see I'm wearing it over a couple layers, as you would in the winter. Got to keep my cue glasses on. I'll flip up the collar, and let's take a look at the jacket open first. So you can see I've got all the parts and pieces. Uh, beautiful jacket, feels great on, and I will button it. I'll button the top and the middle. Sometimes I would just do the middle, but let's take a look at the side silhouette. So not a bad side silhouette. I would have actually gone for a small. I have to say, I would have gone for a small just the way I wear things. But this isn't too big. You can see that I do have probably about an inch, inch and a half of too much room here, but not too much. Let's see it from the front. So you can see if I had a small, it'd be a little less boxy, but it does not have this nice suppression here. Sleeve length is perfect. And by the way, what's interesting about this, on the sleeves, you do not have any buttons. It's a nice, clean, and clear sleeve. Let's take a look at the back. So with the back, you now can see this single venting, which is very comfortable for movement. I have all types of crazy movement here. And you'll notice in those pictures in the beginning, Q did wear his coat a little bit bigger. He doesn't wear it like skin tight, like a, like a Tom Ford suit on Daniel Craig. He does wear it a little loose, so this is pretty much the Q fit. 
It's kind of big. He wears it open as he's crossing the street. So he's got that kind of movement. It's almost like cape-like. Here I go. I'm freaking marching. You should see the camera person's face. I get lots of side lip here. But the reality is, is they'd wear it a little bit big. If I was to wear this coat on a regular basis, which it's a beautiful coat, I'd probably go for a size small. So one of the things that we loved about this coat is it is a little bit and piece of our own history. All the viewers out there of the Bond experience, because of your influence, because of subscribing and following and all these things, had influence over the brand called Billy Reed. Billy Reed went out there, they made this, they connected with it, and I have to tell you, this was discontinued. It was discontinued, but they remade it. They remade it with the exact same fabric bolt as they did in Spectre. So now if you go to BillyReed.com, you can buy this coat. Not only can you buy this coat, but it's nearly half price off. If you go right now, you can get this coat for about $395, which is amazing if you think about the fact that this coat was almost about $750, or $800. So overall, I think it's an amazing coat. I think it created a bit of a splash for all the viewers out there influence with a brand, and a brand that not only stood by James Bond and the history of the wardrobe of James Bond, but let's face it, they also stood by the re-release of something like this for the fans. So if you're a fan of Spectre, if you're a fan of Q, or you just happen to like a really nice coat with a ticket pocket, obviously go to BillyReed.com, get your coat while it lasts. I think they have all the different sizes, but I would venture to guess after this video, um, those sizes are going to sell out very quickly. So, quick little story with a wonderful ending. Now that we've got our coats for Q, channeling Q feeling, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We will see you very soon. Take care.